Hey guys, how's it going? So, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. This is going to be a sponsored video for Neoverse. Neoverse is a strategic deck building roguelite game, which means, you know, it's all about, it's a single player game and you're trying to kind of like build crazy combos with your different cards that execute well together while, you know, surviving and going as far as you can in a run. The game is available on PC uh, and in December it launched on Xbox One as well. Well, if you want to check out the game for yourself, you can check the description or the pinned comment for, you know, the links to the Steam Store page, as well as the game's official Discord. So, without further ado, you know, I want to let the gameplay really speak for itself here, so let's jump right in. Alright, perfect. So this is Neoverse. It is a uh, card game, kind of like deck builder, roguelike sorts. So this is what I'm going to be playing uh, for the next hour. I'm going to be, you know, talking about this game. Honestly, we have just been talking about design, so maybe I'll uh, talk about, you know, the things that I like about what it's trying to do. I'll start a new journey because I, I basically was messing around for a little bit, just making sure all the, you know, all the bells and whistles were right. So Neoverse is basically, as, as I mentioned, a rogue, like sort of deck builder. It's on PC. It's on Steam. Let's go ahead. I'm just gonna jump in and we'll we'll see how uh, how it works I'll be able to show you guys like how the game plays so it's a oops, Normal bottle it is an You know a strategic deck building rogue light. We've got uh, a nice 3d rotatable screen Oops and we've got cards. So we start with our starter deck based on you know who we're choosing at the specific time uh, you are taking down an opponent. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys have seen this kind of thing before. So, we've got basically, you know, th this idea of trying to deal as much damage as possible, reacting to what the opponent is doing, and, you know, building our deck and creating cool combos, right? I actually really like the kind of like single player deck builder style of games. I think they actually embrace a lot of uh, what people really like about card games in general. Because it's all about just like building crazy combos that you can get off. <laughs> Zoom in on her, guys. Come, come on. So, in this case, you know, we've got, you know, dealing damage. We're trying to take down this enemy. We're going to be against, like, multiple enemies later. I'm just going to do some uh, do some attacks. I'm sure I don't need to, like, strategize much yet because these are, like, really simple enemies at the start. All right. So... Yeah, we've got overheat. So, when I use automatic shoot... It gives me an overheat stack. Um, we'll worry about that later. And we can just attack this guy to take him down. He's got a neon rifle. So I, th I think he uh, has a specific weapon or something that she mentioned. All right. Okay. That's fine. So basically, we're going to uh, either an elite battle or a normal battle. You can choose the difficulty. And you get more rewards for going a little bit harder. Uh, three defense. So, you can see exactly what the enemy is planning to do on their next turn. In this case, Spider Regeneration. This is just a passive. Recovers three HP at the beginning of each turn, constant. So, I can just do some attacks here. Every time you play a card, it automatically replenishes here. Alright, perfect. We don't need to defend since it's not doing anything. I'm pretty sure. Alright, it healed itself for quite a bit. And now it's got okay. So it gave itself reflect. Return damage equal to the to, equal to the owner's reflect whenever HP damage is taken. Decreases upon activation. So in theory, the automatic shot should get through that because this is five instances of one damage. Yep, perfect. So that's kind of like how we counter that. Whereas it would reflect three different full attacks. Maybe I should be playing a little bit more defensive. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to make this kind of my initial impressions as well. So I'm going to be learning alongside you guys. You got hit by six? Yes. And <laughs> I probably shouldn't have let that happen. Six damage two times. Other battle tech that can be triggered during battle. So yeah, it's doing, it's doing six and two. We can just try to tank up against that. Uh, this one is defensive, gives us a shoot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm remembering now. The, uh, the battle tech. How does the battle tech system work in this game? Because I remember it was, it was pretty unique. It like you, you can do some specific combos with like the colors of cards. So the shoot is just a powerful thing for defense. Unstable. What does unstable mean? I guess we're about to find out. All right. So I'm overheating. I'm getting a little too hot here. Anyone else feeling a little too hot? Okay. I'm just going to armor up. It's doing a 6x2, so it's doing 12 damage. So I'm going to tank up to 12 so I can absorb all of it. All right. And we stunned it as well. I think that's part of our combo. <laughs> all right. So we've got an attack here. What is this? Five automatic shots. What do I need for the battle tech? I thought I understood this, but I did not. I think if I do three reds and a blue, basically, in that order, it like triggers a combo. There we go. Yeah, and that powers me up. And then and then the combo scales up to like five patterns. So it's basically an extra dimension of strategy, a little bit of extra depth to be able to like sometimes um, like have access to different combos depending on like if you want to go out of your way. You don't always want to go for this probably. Because, you know, you need to play the cards you want to play. That's interesting, though. What do we have an anime waifu protagonist, though? You have something against anime waifu protagonists? Alright. So, we can get a new card from this encounter as well. Add it to our deck. We've got Final Attack. This is a bit rare. And we've got Lawnmower. Deal 2 damage. Inflict 1 radioactivity. Well, I'm kind of curious what radioactivity is, and I'm a lot more curious what that animation is going to look like. We've got a skill tree as well. Cortex. Max HP increases by one at the end of each battle. All right, interesting. Skill points remaining, and these are skill points. So, plus one to max HP. Price of goods in the store is reduced by 10%. All right, let's take that one. Completion rewards. Oh, is that the full mission? Was it just those two enemies? I think I'm understanding this. So, these are instant cards. Oh. Because these, these aren't added to my deck right now, are they? Evolve all cards until the end of battle. And it costs four. I'm going to go for that. No, that's my deck. Alright. Tell you what. Oh, it's an upgrade. Oh. I see. Now, we're just, we're just going to get into the, uh, into the next mission. So, what do we have? Elite battle, evolve a card, five armor at the beginning of battle. <laughs> Achieve a combo one time, or inflict total. So, these are basically different kind of like sub-conditions. We'll go for the combo one. Here we go. One of the nice things about this game is you have the ability to set the camera into just exactly what, what frame of reference you want. I should, right? Wait, where are my cards? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. So, yeah, let's do, oh, I kind of blessed up. So, I think if I do it, let, let's, let's experiment a little bit. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to do it in the other order. We've got lawnmower, radioactivity. Radioactivity deals piercing damage at the end of a player's turn. Halves upon activation. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to want to defend myself against these large brutes. So, let's go ahead and, uh play that as part of our battle tech combo and we'll inflict one radioactivity to this guy honestly i i, I do like how you, how you can rotate the camera that's great all right so we're gonna all right so these guys are ooh, they've got some armor how do i see their oh the affected attacks at the end oh but i can't see it on this perspective as well that's fine okay i'll shoot down this little guy i want to take them on one at a time because i certainly can't take them on both at once so, little guy first. We're going to have to defend up against this. I think I think I should go full defense. I'm actually I'm not 100% sure if the battle charge stays on between rounds. We're about to find out. But enhanced magazine seems really good cuz it gets the free shoot card, right? And this is effectively zero, you know, mana in this case. Although it does overheat, which uh might be a bigger downside than I give it credit for. All right, here we go. Seven and twenty-seven. All right. 
So we're going to go ahead and deal with this one on the left. Does the radioactivity kill it? Yeah, it does. Oh, great. So we've got two defense. Yeah, I can I can just tank up. So they put a virus in my hands. And it's just an unusable hindrance. So what is overheat actually doing? Adds an overload card to your hand whenever you overheat reaches five. I'm sure that won't be a problem. So the one on the left should die to the radioactivity. In theory. Huge. All right. And now we can finish our battle tech combo by going in for a blue. All right, perfect. And that gives me a critical attack. So that's that's the benefit of the combo. So the next instance of damage deals double. So I can double up this for six effectively. Let's switch it up a little bit. Okay. And then we've got... We're going to need a little bit of armor here. Perfect. Because he's dealing nine. And I, I don't want to take too much here. Okay, so we're just tanking this. Perfect. So in this case... Our battle tech is giving us two reds. I don't know if I can sequence like that. We'll see though. He's dealing 10, which is pretty scary. I might just want to actually tank through all of that, but that's four. So yeah, the, the automatic shot might actually be a little too awkward here. Let's just go for this. I I, I think I want to full tank it. I think that's the better way to do it. Because without if, if I spend my mana on automatic shot, I actually would take some unnecessary damage here. So we're going to deviate from, you know, trying to do anything weird with our combo and just make sure we're not taking unnecessary damage because if you guys, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm already at 17 health. I, <laughs> I haven't looked at the health bar. <laughs> All right. That's going to be a bit, bit of an issue. Can't take more damage than this. All right. So we're going to go ahead and chain the shoot. So it's blue into red and the blue into red is perfect because the card gives us the shoot. Then we got double blue. What is he doing? What is this? Rubbish. Oh, he's throwing rubbish. All right. But I've got my combo here. So now I can use lawnmower to give more radioactivity while triggering my combo. And then my combo allows my attack to double up in value for the critical. So it's basically just like critical chains. You can like chain certain combinations of things to get critical damage. And that fulfilled the red. So it's actually really easy to crit this. He's doing nine defense. And this shoot card is pretty crazy, because it's completely free, yeah? Next shot, deal one three times. There's no need to do more defense. So th this is kind of interesting. I don't need to add more armor, since he's not attacking me here. But if I do it, it fulfills the battle tech, which I think gives me the free crit. So it should be the same amount of damage. And critical hit stackable as well. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, does it redouble? Oh, can you chain combos together and like, and quadruple your damage? That's actually pretty cool. All right, yeah, too much, too much armor. We're we're just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm overheating a lot. Maybe that's where all my damage is coming from. Am I overheating too much? Are these overload cards damaging me? <laughs> we all are. Yeah. All right, perfect. So we got some gold that we can spend later on this run. We get some skill points that we can use to level up a skill tree. So what do you guys want to pick here? We've got slash. Zero energy, three damage for one overheat, which is pretty good. I mean, zero energy is kind of crazy. Reserve shot, take one random shooting card. Or attempted escape, which is just a one-time consumable. Hmm. We don't need one time. Reserve shot it is. All right, so we're at a shop. So we can buy whatever we want from this data store that's in our price range. We've got steroids here. What do you guys think? I can't not click on this card. I have no choice. Art in this game is great, dude. Honestly. <laughs> Remove hindrance. Deal three damage. Select a card from your hand and consume it from this battle. That's interesting. Radioactive machine. Accumulating fatigue. So this is supposed to be like a, a, a really rare one. The, like the three stars. They're expensive. And yeah, we don't want accumulating fatigue. What is this? One stealth? Ignore HP damage. Okay, so this basically like dodges for a turn. Oh, you've got a free mulligan. This costs zero. You can just renew the store. So I bought some skill points. Now I can like mulligan for a new store. Ooh, distractive shot. I don't doubt it. Oh, and there's some items too. Add two random constants to your draw pile. Radioactivity, grenade deal, eight tall enemies. 50% discount. Uh, with a deal like that, I'd be stupid not to buy it. All right. <clears throat> so now that we've got some skill points, seven skill points. What are we getting here? Secret approach, gain stealth the first turn in battle. 
Plan B, transform. Acquire a random attack card that costs zero for one use whenever a hindrance is played. Overcharge. Refrigerant suit. Overheat immunizing agent. To be perfectly honest, I'm triggering way too much overheat without really understanding what it does. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna need to immunize myself against that. And I'll, I'll take a refrigerator suit too. I don't mind it. Claim these rewards. I think this, okay, so this is like an upgrade, right? Oh yeah, here we go. So should we just upgrade our steroids? All right, perfect. Select a card to remove. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can we can remove this. That's fine. We don't we don't need more attacks. So typically, you know, as with any deck building roguelite, removing cards will let you see more of the more powerful cards in your deck. So as you're adding good cards to your deck, you also want to be removing the weaker ones so you can execute your combos with more reliability. High elite battle. Oh, I'm definitely ready for that. Now this one. Oh, hang on a second. All right. Why are there three of them? Oh, I definitely can't win this one. All right, I'm gonna take out this ball. Let's go ahead, armor up a little bit here. I think I removed too much offense from this deck. My hand is all defense right now, but that's actually good for my combo. So let's, let's try to do like an interesting combo here. So our battle tech, we want to play two more blues. Accelerated defense, uh, we don't want to add overheat. We want to subtract overheat, right? So just like standard depends, So we trigger our combo there. This gives us a stack of critical hit. The next attack will deal double damage. So what I want to do is I want to try like multi-stack and critical hit. But as long as I need red cards for my combo and as long as red cards all consume critical hit, I can't multi-stack them. Maybe I have to do something specific for that. Distractive shot, deal one decay. All right, and I, di I did get blessed. I'm supposed to be playing this earlier because it involves like basically it, it buffs my entire deck for the rest of the fight. The only awkwardness is I'm going to be taking a lot of damage if I do that. Uh, like, like quite a good amount of damage. I do have some armor. I, I, I think I can, I can bless now. I can evolve everything now. Yeah, yeah, perfect. We do steroid, which is amazing here. So now what I can do is I can tank up with steroid. That's going to give me 10. This is dealing a total of 15. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I'm only taking one damage here. If you multi-stack criticals, they don't multiply. It's just another stack. So it triples up. Okay. Still at 17. All right. So we're going to have to slowly kind of start taking them down. This guy is about to become... Oh, he's about to gain two shield and three immune. Okay. But he already has some shield. I'm going to take the guy on the left down a little bit first. Although I'm noticing my hand is all defense. I think... I added a little bit too much defense to the stack. All right. Yeah, and the critical is going to shoot. Since shoot is upgraded and it's critting, it's dealing eight. I might actually be able to deal with this guy on the left. And now we can combo out by alternating blue and red, as in the battle tech. And making sure we're getting, like, the most value. Yeah, we'll take the defense. So, Naya is all about kind of, like, juggling the overheat and the radioactivity, basically. So we triggered our crit stack here, and now we're just gonna make sure we're taking zero damage if possible. So they're dealing a total of 14 to me, and I can actually use accelerated defense to block everything here. Nice. All right. So uh, this is doing a, yeah, an empowered swing, I guess. Oh, I see. Because they, they, someone buffed them all with force. That makes sense. So that's why these are doing more damage than normal. So we can follow the battle attack here. I think this is a flexible enough turn. So we're going to go ahead and lawnmower. Lawnmower is honestly pretty amazing, actually. This is dealing two radioactivity as a dot. So distractive shot should be able to take this down. But for the sake of, you know, our battle tech sequencing, I think I can use distractive shot at the end of this. So there's no reason not to, you know, just take the enhanced magazine. We've got the evolve shoot. We can use this to trigger the battle tech after the end once we've enabled the battle tech. So I can use the defend here. That'll deal with the overheat that we were about to do. I'll use distractive shot now. That'll distract this guy over here. And that triggers the crit from the battle tech. And now I can use the shoot that I got earlier to deal damage to this one, setting it to six. And then I've got exactly one more energy. The evolved attack will set this one to one. And then if I end my turn, I've triggered the battle attacks on these. If I end my turn, the radioactivity will kill both of those. I'm, not, I'm nuts, dude. I'm crazy at this game. <laughs> All right. Easy. So take this attack here. 
We've got, uh, he's just tanking up. So since his next move is just guarding, we don't need to play any defense. But because we're battle teching, defense is kind of offense right now anyway, right? So I can do like minus overheat here. I think I wasn't overheating anyway. So I'm getting a crit on the next one. In this case, I just want to try cycling out some of these because I want to find uh, an attack this turn. I should have steroided first. All right, that's fine. All right, we got our magazine. So now we want to enable the battle tech for the crit. Oh God, I wish I could, but there's no way to not consume this, right? Because these are all critting. All the red ones are critting. So I can't like double stack on the on the biggest attack. I can use the attack here because this one's consuming one crit already. Unfortunately, this messes up the sequence because we don't have a defense card. That's fine though. Hmm. Luckily, I've got all this armor. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're okay here. We're not taking too much. And the rubbish is basically preventing us from drawing an additional card every turn. Play it. Oh, yeah. I, I can actually... I, I can play it if I spend the, uh, the energy. Yep. So, since... Automatic shot is evolved. It actually doubles the damage it deals because it's normally five by uh, five uh, Instances of one damage and it's five of two which makes it kind of crazy But in theory, I believe these should all Does the full thing crit? I'm actually not 100% sure. Let's find out So we're gonna go ahead and get our crit here It does it doubles up the initial and it looks like it should apply to all of them So in theory this should deal still a clean 20 damage. Okay, that's ridiculous So automatic shot if we evolve it and then crit it will just basically one-shot anything at this stage. Okay, cool. So do I want to evolve? Yeah, yeah, let's evolve some cards. Let's go for this one. All right, so this is the first boss we're facing. All right, here we go. This angle gives me the best access to being able to click on all three, depending on like, you know, where I am on the screen, right? Actually, yeah, this is a little bit better because now I can select all of them. All right, so now we can go ahead and make sure that we're taking out the wasps. They're really weak on the left side, so we want to aggro them down because they're about to start defending. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can power down this one on the left side first. Okay, I could have actually blessed like a normal human being. <laughs> Plus one overheat. <sighs> it's kind of an awkward hand because this is not a spot where we actually want to be defensive. I'll just end it. <laughs> Alright, this is a bit better, guys. Distractive shot, reserve shot. Alright, nice. So, we're going for two reds. So, the purple only started coming up when we actually added the purple card to our deck, the, like, utility card. Which is interesting. In theory, I wonder if I removed all, like, the blue cards from my deck. I'd, I'd just be able to infinitely chain battle tech. That would be quite interesting. So I do want to take out that one on the right. It's doing, it's got the seven armor though. Wow, this is a lot. Wait, why am I at 12 health? Okay, so they're dealing 14 damage. This one's doing regen. It's got a total of 18 effective health if we count in the armor and I'd need to deal 18 to be able to kill it. 18 is really difficult for me in this range. Automatic shot costs two. Hmm. This isn't looking good. What is decay? Attack damage decreased by 50%. Decreases at the end of each turn. So, I can make sure to decay this. And I do have an item I can consume here. Amplification kit. Inflicts one amplify to the target, which makes it receive 50% more damage, but it decays. So, it's the turn where I'm going off. A turn where I like want to kill something. Wow, this is kind of awkward. Yeah, I think I need to decay the boss to stop it from taking too much damage. We can start by doing that. So we've saved a bit of health. I do want to see, well, I can't do the purple for the battle tech, so I need to disrupt the combo. I'll just gain a little bit of armor here because that'll at least reset my combo to see if I can start working towards it. Because when, when you go out of combo order, it resets it, which isn't bad here. Because if you can't complete it, it's better to just reroll it. So now I can at least try to start shooting the right one. We've got to balance out our overheat. All of our offensive cards, I think, overheat us. And automatic is less value than just doing reserve plus something else. Predictive is oh pretty good. Yeah, predictive looks good here because I might be able to get a defensive card. So I want to start powering down the right one while I can. But I thought I was adding one to hand. I must have misread it. 
aimed shot. So I, I high rolled a really powerful shot, I think, but I can't use it. So hopefully it'll draw back. I don't know if it's uh, if it comes back though. So we're pretty low. We're at nine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and when you overload, you take uh, the one piercing damage. That explains a lot. I think I took a bit of overload damage at the start, and that's why I'm at nine health right now for no reason. Okay. Okay. So let's let's solve this. Let's solve this. Nine is totally fine, right? So this guy is armored up. He's, he's about to armor up. He's at one. We need to deal exactly 11 to the right one. We're about to reach a crit, which deals 20. And I can deal exactly 20 to the left one to kill it through radiation. So we want to use a predictive shot. Distractive shot inflicts decay. And the middle one is the one attacking. So we want to start with a... We want to start with a predictive shot on the right one. Yeah, this, this gives us the card that we can choose to add to our hand. We have to plan this out. We've got blue and red. And we're going to use automatic shot on the left one. The right one we need eight more damage to... So I think the lawnmower will actually potentially be the better option here. It only costs one energy. I think that should be fine. So now I want to see, you have to sequence this exactly right. We have to get the crit. So I defend now, and then we go into another offensive tool. In this case, I think that has to be lawnmower just because I need the radiation and I have enough defense, but I need distractive shot to be able to not take too much damage. I have to decay the boss again. Okay, so now we're only taking one damage. And now that I've achieved my combo, I can fully, I can finish the combo by doing automatic shot. It's not the full 20 because we're not evolved yet, but I can kill the one on the right. I only need to deal eight. So lawnmower is four plus the attack one should be enough if we factor in the reactivity because the reactivity goes to two and we trigger that. And then we use our upgraded steroids to make sure we're not taking any damage at all. That one dies to reactivity before it can heal. All right, we're good. You don't need health, we're fine. All right, perfect. So aim shot, this was the card we got earlier and it did recycle. Five mana, receive one mana on the next turn, plus two overheat, wow. Yeah, that's really powerful. So let's go ahead and start with that. So we're going to do double attack into double defense. And the defense is going to lower the overheat because defend lowers overheat. Positive effects are the green icons. Yeah. Yeah, the aim shot gives us the mana buff. All right. So now I can take the reserve shot. This is the one we want to kill first. Just like the small adds I think would be better to get rid of first. And we got explosive shot. Now we're not critting yet. Explosive shot deals three damage to all enemies three times. Wow. Plus three overheat, which would deal some damage to us. But this guy's just doing a buff next turn, so I can actually afford to take some damage. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. We've got a draw pile of eight. So I can do a few different things here. I think being able to kill this, this side thing before it heals is actually pretty powerful. But I'm going out of combo and I'm overheating. Let's try it. All right, so now I've got the overload. Three. So this is perfect. It's piercing, though, so yeah, yeah, it goes through armor. Because otherwise that would be a little bit too strong. So I'm taking three damage with that. But the side one is dying to radiation again. And now, all we have to do at 6 HP is just make sure we're not getting too damaged by big attacks on this guy. It's easy. Very, very easy. So we don't need to use Distractive Shot, but we can't save it here. We want to do four offensive cards for the battle tech. So I can do... Yeah, I can do Predictive Shot. Automatic. We don't need Steroid here since it's an offensive turn. So I do want to use Lawnmower, stack radioactivity, and we can use Distractive into Automatic potentially just to complete the combo. All right, perfect. And now we can save our stack of crit and we're immune to the next debuff anyway. All he's doing is guarding up, so we're fine. Ah. Oh. Okay. Explosive shot. Yeah, this doesn't do radioactivity. Right now, I mean, we just want to damage him down. Why is this 14 damage? So he buffed himself with force by three. Decreases at the end of each turn. But, yeah, so it decays. So he's dealing four by two, and that's going to seven by two. Hmm. Well, Distractive Shot at least slows that down. I have to start with that. I think between defending, I'm at least alive. I'm at least totally fine here. But yeah, Lawnmower inflicting one radioactivity. This fight's going to be pretty long. I might actually have to do lawnmower, lawnmower for one additional radioactivity. 
Oh, and then we've got the aim shot, which is still in this deck. It, yeah, it's like fully shuffled. That's really cool. So the one that adds a shot to my deck, I get it for the rest of the game. This deals the most damage for one mana, and it gives like mana later, but it gives overheat, which is really scary unless we have a way to cool off. Because overheat could actually kill us. We're at six health and it's piercing damage. Also, we're kind of at four health. Okay, and then I just have to lawnmower. Because the radioactivity goes through the armor. All right. I'm at four health now. And he's dealing 12 more. Oh, yeah. I should probably use this amp kit now. That would have been a good turn for it. So we should be able to disrupt this. Let's start with the, um, I think it's actually best to start with the enhanced magazine because this will reset the battle tech and if it starts blue or if it starts red, then we actually have an option for that. Okay, so I can use shoot deal three plus one overheat. Hmm, what's my overheat at? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. I mean, it's zero plus one. Steroids is plus one overheat, and defend is minus one overheat. I can afford to overheat a little bit, right? It's only a problem when it gets the five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So we amp that a little late. It said the amp decays over time, though. Now we go blue. So enhanced magazine, we redrew, and we can chain this again because our next in sequence is another red. So we, enhanced magazine gets us into the shoot. And now... Yeah, shoot is fine. I can shoot again, right? Four overheat. I'm at four health. That's fine. That that can't be bad. So now I'm at four overheat. I can defend twice and defends lower my overheat. So now I've defended twice. So my overheat's back down to two. I'm at four health. I'm neutralizing the damage here. And I don't need to steroid because steroid overheats me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're totally fine. Not a single problem with this. And I think predictive shot. Yeah, predictive shot makes a bit more sense here. All right, perfect. And I don't steroid because I don't need more than 12 armor here. Yeah, we're good. What an easy boss fight. Okay, so we've got aim shot. We've got explosive shot. I need uh, I need things that lower my overheat. Thank God he's stunned. So we can increase the radioactivity a bit. Inflicting decay isn't really useful here, but it's still better than anything else. And we can't complete the battle tech. Which is a little awkward. I mean, I just need to lower my overheat as much as possible, right? I think that's the thing that matters the most here. So I actually think I can't play either of these. Because if I get my overheat up to four, that that could actually be a big problem. What's the clock looking like? Deal five? Deal five could be minus one off the clock. That's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, it's one mana two. Yeah, I can go to four overheat. Yeah, four overheat, four health. Looks good. Okay, so now we might be able to kill him. I need to make sure I'm not overheating because if the overload overload can deal piercing damage to me. <sighs> okay, so next in sequence, we can minus overheat with defend. And that's next in sequence on the battle tech. Now I can just take damage. The battle tech will double, it, it will crit my next hit. So that'll be 10 damage. So I can attack to trigger the battle tech. And now I've got a crit. So I can deal 10 and that should be lethal. I think that's it. Plus two overheat. So I'll plus two overheat. All right, no problem. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay. Hey, you probably full heal after bosses, right? Oh, nice. All right. Whew. Got a little hot there at the end. So that's Neoverse. Check it out if you guys are interested. Again, the pinned comments, you know, the link in the description in the pinned comment will take you to the Steam page. And it's one of those, you know, support your creator kind of links. You guys know the drill behind those. And yep, check it out if it looks like the kind of thing that might interest you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.